Good morning, people, to another lockdown tutorial. And we are still in chapter 21, page 278. And in page 283, in question number four, there are four questions, and it's to it's a totally different uh, construction which you all need to learn. That is to draw a square equal in area to a given rectangle. Okay, what you need to draw? You need to draw a square. Okay, the condition is equal in area. The area is equal. Between whom? Between a square and a rectangle. Okay. So you need to draw a square equal in area to a given rectangle. That means the length and the breadth of the rectangle will be supplied to you. So you'll have to draw a square whose area is equal to the given rectangle. Okay. So let's take down one question. Draw a square equal in area to a given rectangle of sides 9 cm and 4 cm. So a rectangle is given to you whose sides are 9 cm and 4 cm. And now we need to draw a square whose area is equal to the area of the rectangle. Okay. Let's try to understand what we are able to draw. You don't need to show this in the exams. This is not needed in exams. But yes, you need to understand. So let's understand. At least for the first diagram. After that, you don't need to show this. Again, did you all hear me? You don't need to show this. But for the first diagram, let's do it. At least let's try to understand what we are doing or what we are drawing. Okay. So what is given to us? Length of the rectangle is given to us 9 cm. Breadth of the rectangle is given to us 4 cm. So the area of the rectangle, what's the formula for area of rectangle? Length into breadth. As a result, it's 9 cm into 4 cm which gives us 36 cm square. Okay, now the question says area of rectangle is equal to area of square. Yes or no, people? What does it say? Square equal in area to a given rectangle. Okay, so the area is equal. So just now we found out area of rectangle is 36 centimeters square. So now the question says area of rectangle is equals to area of square. So under area of rectangle, I will write 36 centimeters square. That's what I found out from here. Okay, and that's the area of square. Okay, I know the formula of area of square. Sorry, now I've got my area of square is almost 36 centimeters square. Why? Because they are equal. Area of square and area of rectangle is equal. So if area of rectangle is 36, then area of square is also 36. So therefore, area of square is almost 36 centimeters square. Now I know the formula of area of square. Side whole square equals to 36 centimeters square. Remove the square. A square root will come here. As a result, what is the side of the square? 6 centimeters. So what I'm trying to show you out here is the length and the breadth of the rectangle is given and you got the area as 36 centimeters square the square which you will draw the square which you are going to draw will have the side as 6 centimeter this is just to check yourself okay so the side of the square will be 6 centimeter the square which you will get will have the side as 6 centimeter that's what we need to understand or this is just a check on yourself whether you will get your construction correct or not okay let's begin the construction okay people a quick recap on whatever we have achieved till now we have one video and the topic is from arithmetic compound interest uniform rate of increase and decrease so we have one video for that compound interest uniform rate of increase and decrease so construction of circum circle two videos construction of in circle two videos construction of tangent one video all the varieties has been explained in this diagram in this uh, video and to draw a mean proportion or to find the square root geometrically we have one video to cover up everything and then today's video would be to draw a square equal in area to a given rectangle so up till now this is a complete package of whatever we have completed till now okay Okay, people, let's begin the construction. So, first thing I need to draw a rectangle because that's given to me, and the sides of the rectangle are 9 cm and 4 cm. So, my sides, my samples are ready. Okay, remember one thing when you draw this figure, see where you should draw this. Remember your AX. Make sure this line is very, very long. Very, very long. Again, remember, make sure your line AX is very, very long. It does not matter if you go till this section of the page. Okay. Also remember one thing, whenever you are drawing your A out here, wherever you start your, this line segment, make sure there is some space out here. Keep some space out here because we'll have to draw a 90 degree out here. And make sure there is some space below also because we need to draw a semicircle. Again, few things to remember. Make sure your line is a very long line. 
don't start from here no don't start start from here so that you have some space to draw 90 degree out here few things to remember before you draw this so let's begin then firstly i'll try to draw a rectangle sorry i need to draw a rectangle with sides 9 centimeter and 4 centimeter so what i'll do is i'll measure my sample 9 centimeter okay let me switch you all in the camera guys i measured 9 centimeter okay let me be very very precise always be precise with the diagram yes you all can see 9 centimeter so go to a and keep your compass here okay fine so i have my b so i have my length as this 9 centimeter so now since this is a rectangle i need to make sure so if you all remember your figure rectangle like imagine a brick okay people this is how your rectangle will look like can you see this can you see this so this angle is 90 degree so from here i'll cut off 9 centimeter i'll draw 90 degree from here and from there i'll cut off 4 centimeter and this side also will be 4 centimeter and this also will be 9 centimeter again 9 centimeter 9 centimeter 4 centimeter 4 centimeter how do i draw i've cut off 9 centimeter so from here i'll draw 90 degree and from 90 degree i'll cut off 4 centimeter i've got my av as 9 centimeter now i need to draw 90 degree from a so you all know how to draw 90 degree yes by now you all are to people my 90 degrees almost ready make sure you have a dots i've told you where so that you get a diagram correctly okay okay so let's draw 90 degree first let me keep my constant diagram somewhere out here so that i can switch you all okay draw a long 90 degree okay always use your protector and check always always it's always wise to check or else don't get a construction correct yes you're almost there wait almost there maybe my compass might have moved somewhere it should be exactly this way maybe it might have moved but you all draw an uh, exact 90 degree so as i've told you the sides of the rectangle are 9 centimeter and 4 centimeter so we have already drawn a 9 centimeter now i have drawn a 90 degree so from that 90 degree i'll cut a 4 centimeter that's a sample of 4 centimeter let's measure okay fine i have my 4 centimeter ready let's go back to the diagram cut a 4 centimeter okay so this is your okay see let's write it this way always go anti-clockwise or clockwise a b so let's name this c and let's name this d so this will be your d so our a d is four centimeter okay so now what do we do is so now see guys out here how much are you expecting four centimeter now from here to here how much are you expecting nine centimeter so we don't need to draw 90 degree twice okay let's measure 9 centimeter again see guys how am i drawing let's measure the sample of 9 centimeter okay let me show it to you all in the diagram okay my sample is okay so now keep it in d and then make an arc here is it okay so now how much should this much be it should be 4 centimeter go to the sample measure 4 centimeter Let me switch your measure four centimeter from the sample. Okay, go back to the diagram. Keep it in B. Got this. Yes. So you get a rectangle. So this point is your point C. So let's join B C. Join precisely. Be very very precise. I'm telling you, under the camera, it's very difficult to show. Let's join CD. Hope everyone can see this. Fine. So this one is four centimeter. And this one is nine centimeter. Okay. Now what's the first step? 
What's the first step? Our rectangle ABCD with sides 9 cm and 4 cm is drawn. Now let's go to the second step. DC is extended and cut off CE equals to CB from the extended part. Okay, what is extended? DC, okay, let's read the question properly. It says what? DC is extended. Okay, let's extend DC. Can you all see DC? Yes, if you all can see DC, let's extend DC. DC is extended. Make sure it's very straight. Okay, DC is extended. Extend it very long. Okay, go till we have gone out here. Okay, DC is extended. And what does the step say? DC is extended and cut off CE equals to CB from the extended part. So from the extended part, you have to cut off CE, which is equal to CB. Okay, guys, let's see where is our CB. Can you all see my CB? Yes, major CB. Okay, fine. And from this extended part, cut off CE. So you'll keep a compass here and cut off CE. So people, I've got my E. Again, check this step. DC is extended and cut off CE, which is equal to CB. So extend DC, measure CB, and then cut off CE. Okay, we are done with that. Let's go to the next step. Now, step 3 says, DE is bisected at O. With OD or OE as radius or semicircle is drawn. What is bisected? DE. Let's bisect DE at O. Can you all see my line segment DE? So I need to bisect DE. Let's bisect DE. And it gets bisected at O. I hope everyone is able to see the figure. So we are bisecting DE. Is that okay? So take anything more than half. I've told you how to bisect a line segment. So you all can clearly see this is more than half. Make an arc here. Make an arc here. Go to D. Since you are bisecting D, cut off the arc. Come back, come down. Okay, if it does not cut, go back to E again. Cut off. Okay, fine. So, where is D E bisected? DE is bisected at the point O. Oh. So let's bisect this. Hope everyone is able to see this. Make sure it's with dots. Okay, fine. So this is my O. Oh. Again, what are we bisecting? Not DC. No, we are bisecting DE. Is that okay or not? What are we bisecting? DE. So DE is bisected at the point O. Oh. Now, with OD or OE, as radius, a semicircle is drawn, which we have been drawing up till now. Let's go to step three. Yes, D is bisected at O, and with OD or OE as radius, a semicircle is drawn. So, with OD or OE as radius, since we've got our O, let's measure OD. Can you see it? OD or OE, a semicircle is drawn. Let's draw a semicircle. So I draw a semicircle, it's exactly at E. Make sure it comes exactly at E. So I've got my semicircle. Okay. So now let's take another step. Once we get the semicircle, what does the question say? What does the step say? Step four. Extend BC, which intersects the semicircle at F. I'm talking of step four. Extend BC, which intersects the semicircle at F. So extend BC, people. Let's extend BC. This is my BC. Extend BC which intersects the semicircle at the point F. So this is my F people. Always make a point and mention. So I've got my F. And then what does this step say? With CF as one side or square CFGH is drawn. So now with CF as one side. Can you see this? So now I've got my CF. Can you all see CF? So with CF as one side, a square is drawn. So this CF which we've got out here is the side of the square. So we'll be getting a square somewhere out here. So let's measure CF. Can everyone see I've measured CF? So you keep a compass here. Make sure out here. You make an arc here. Okay. Go to F. Make an arc here. Now, since this is a square, all the sides will be same. Go back here to this meeting point. Cut off this. 
Okay. So make a point everywhere. So let's name this since this is F C F. Let's name this G and let's name this H. Okay. So let's join. Let's join this and this. Okay. And then let's join this and this. Happy everyone is able to see. Yes. Okay. Thus, you can see CFGH is the required square. Let's check the side of the square. How much? So our expected answer, as I've showed you all in my, in the beginning of uh, the construction, I've showed you what should be the side of the square, six centimeter. So if you get the side of the square at six centimeter, you're almost correct. Let's check how much do we get. Uh, uh, let's keep it in zero. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I think I've got six point, six point one. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So your last step will be. Therefore, CFGH is the required square with side six centimeter. But did I get six centimeter? No. So I got my side as six point one centimeter. Approx, whose area is equal to the given rectangle. Okay, people. So. What was our expected answer? Our expected answer was 6. How much did we get? 6.1 centimeter as the side of the square. That will be considered. Is that okay or not, people? So, guys, look here again. This is the rectangle and this is the square. The area. This area. And this area is equal. Is that okay or not? And what's the, what was the expected side? The expected side was 6 centimeter. But how much did we get? 6.1. That can be considered. Is that okay or not, people? Even if you get 5.9, that can be considered correct. Okay, so you can write out here. Let's conclude here. Therefore, CFGH is the required square with sides as 6.1 centimeter approx. Okay, people. Take care, stay safe, stay home. Thank you.